today we're unboxing the Singer 170th Anniversary Series 15 machine. I just got these in. This one is the red one. It comes in a red and black. So out of the box, it's wrapped in this rust-free paper. It has this card with a serial number and inspector on it with it. And it looks Who's our inspector? Ballander. Oh. Made in India. And the serial number should match the machine. Um, here is the hand crank. What model is this based on? This is based on the 1590, if I remember correctly. This hand crank seems to have more oil on it. So, lots of paint issues with the hand crank. There's paint on the crank itself and not on this part. Also, it's coming off of my hand. Oh, it looks like our oil bottle has leaked inside the case. And that explains why there's oil outside the bags. Oh, oh, and our touch-up paint has leaked everywhere, too. They come with touch-up paint. Ours has spilled everywhere. And it, it even comes with a paintbrush. Um, I assume because they understand that the paint is going to be damaged in shipping. I notice there's a chip here and here. I don't know what I'll do for touch-up paint because mine is spilled. The bag is mostly full of oil. Some bobbins, spool pin, and a cover for the feed dogs. So the hand wheel is packaged in here with the clutch screw and the clutch. That clutch screw is just allowed to rattle around inside the packaging and you can see where it's damaged the paint pretty badly on the hand wheel. Alright, well 
with the symbol. So the handle will go on first. And then this little washer is a clutch. In or out. The little prongs that are on here always go in to the sewing machine itself. Yeah, it will help if you tilt it up some. So it balances them. Tighten that down just hand tight. And then we'll tighten that screw. Oh, that's all of that. And then we attach the hand crank. Before you attach the hand crank, you engage it here. So this guy is flipped out, you want to flip it in. And you can see there's a little depression there where it's supposed to go. And this unscrew, unscrew right here, that's already screwed into the machine. That goes in between the spokes of the hand wheel. Tighten down the screw. The hand wheel engages here with this little pin. It should lock in place there. It does say to oil it before using it. where I laid that bottle of oil that spilled everywhere. There's enough oil, I think, spilled in this one that it'll move. And it goes like everything. It looks a lot like the original one, just red. It's really cool looking. Um, the swivel pins hammer in in the top here. There's two holes, one there, one there. Um, like some others that I've seen the paint sort of covers the holes, so I'm not going to hammer those in right now. There are two spool pins and two spool covers, but they're plastic in the new machine. And they will detach like this. They're just tapers, and so you drive them in with a hammer there and here. I'm going to save that step for later once I've got it wiped off and the paint taken care of on top. How are you going to take care of the paint on top? Well, where those spool pins aren't cut all the way through, I'm going to take a file and file that hole out just a little bit so that I don't chip the paint around it. Um, my fear is that when I drive that pin in, it will crack the paint around that where the, the paint overlaps the hole and I don't want to do that because I don't have any touch-up paint. It's super cool looking. It needs to be cleaned up but very cool. Red. Faceplate looks cool. Singer on the faceplate. What rating would you give it? Out of 10. How much was it? It was $250, $249. Um, I mean, it's cool. I like it. I like that it's red. The black one looks nearly like an original one. Um, so I like the red. I like the anniversary logos. Um, I wish, I wish that construction was a little better and they had taken a little more care in packaging it. A just lot more. So that the, the paint wasn't as badly chipped as it is. 
And you can see it's chipped here on the dial. Just what parts are not original? Are not like the original? So the face plate is different. The face plate it's is different. Scroll, but it's. I can't say that I've ever seen an original one with this piece stuck in the back. Usually that's an open hole, um, like so. And so this is a new addition. I know it's chrome here on the red one, is but it it's metal, plastic. It's plastic. Okay. If it's not plastic. Is that back other back piece? It. Plastic? It may be really thin metal. It kind of feels plastic, but it may be really thin metal. This is metal. Um, different scroll work on that. The badge on the front. If you can get a close up of that badge, ours is upside down. Classy. So I feel like it's a cool machine, but quality control here is an issue. Um, they are sold out, so I I'll have to work on that later and flip that badge over correctly. Um, that's the first one of those I've seen. No, we leave it in a hundred years. We'll it's collectible. <laughs> it's an error and it's super collectible. Yeah. I just increased the value significantly. Yeah, we'd love to find a singer machine with the badge upside down. A featherweight with an upside down badge. See? Nicely I'd, done. I'd pay extra for that. <laughs> if we roll it over underneath. The mechanism's identical. It's the same. Where's uh, the bobbin case? As plastic levers for the hook? They feel metal. Well, no, they're black cool. plastic. The bobbin case is in there. The bobbin case is in here. Pre -wound, the bobbin's already wound for you. Um, they've tested it. Um, the decals are really clean. I don't see any flaws with the decals. What's the hand wheel? The hand wheel down here is plastic. Um, the original would have been either porcelain or a... Can like we a, unscrew it and put a porcelain or yes, a wood one? We'll, we'll unscrew that and put either a porcelain or a Bakelite handle on it. Um, the the hand wheel itself, the, the paint is not well applied, I'm afraid. Um, I still like it. Uh, it's cool. Um, my initial thought is that Maybe they were meant for display more so than sewing, but they will sew. Um, all the ones I've put together so far have sewn like everything. Um, even with the cosmetic flaws, they still get up and sew. Uh, There's a huge chunk out of the chrome hand wheel part. Out of the chrome? It's facing me. Can you see it? Oh, yes. Sadness. So I am disappointed in the, the quality of the paint. I feel like if it had just been packaged with each piece. Right, the, the damage to the hand wheel legs. downhill here is is completely done by the fact that they put that clutch screw in the same little bag. And there's no way it's not going to rattle around inside a Ziploc bag. Um, the, the rest of it, I mean, minor paint flaws are ex are expected. I Honestly, I don't know how this happened. Um, this was more likely than not done in shipping where everything just ruptured inside the bag. Um, that little bag of silica gel there is worn out. So I'll have to see if I can find another vial of touch-up paint somewhere. And we, it has a glitter finish. Like, it would be very difficult to match. That's right. The, the glitter finish and the, the clear coat on there, it's not baked on enamel like the original one would have been. But I mean, it's, it's cool. I... I like it. I wish, like I said, I wish that it had some more quality control there. But the faceplate on ours fits good. It's not warped or anything. The tensioner looks good. Tension spring. Everything else looks good. I don't know how the original ones would have shipped, but not in styrofoam. This is true. What do you think? I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that it's brand new and damaged because I really wouldn't spend $250 on a machine that's already coming to me beat up. But my, my hands are absolutely coated in paint chips from the hand wheel. Crazy. I'm disappointed that we don't have touch up paint now. And but I, 
I feel like if we put some work into it. Are you still recording? Yes. I can make it work, but yeah. How would you rank it? S seven out of ten. Yeah. Just for the color. If it was a black one, I would be mad. <laughs> I think so too. If it were the black one that looked like the original one, I would be pretty upset. It's red and it's still cool looking. This is probably the thing that bothers me the most. The other things are minor things I could touch up. This spool pin issue is significant because those tapers don't fit right. And if you tap it with a hammer into that hole, especially this hole where you can see the paint nearly fills the hole, it is going to chip that paint out around it. Yeah. So I'm not even going to attempt that right now because it will crack that paint around it. And with that clear coat, there's absolutely no way. Another to... video of filing it out. Yes, we'll, we'll make another we're video, it. and we'll file those holes out, or or spin these tapers down some so it fits better. I would prefer the felt pads as to this plastic nonsense. I don't get that at all. It doesn't look good. Um, we have both black and red felt pads we could put there. Either one would look better than that. Um, I don't like this white plastic wick thing right here. Um, we can touch it up with our non-touch-up paint. On the black ones, it's black, <laughs> and even the black would look cooler than that white. The black ones are all blacked out. Like, this piece on the back, this is black. All right. We can post another video of oiling it look at and that. filing out those holes. I think that's why they put that cover there. Why? Because it's already chipped? Because the paint is in such bad condition right there. And so, so it's not a baked on finish like the all. It's, original it's, it's, singers. It's totally sprayed on. It's like on. sprayed on like car paint. In the original ones, Bummer. there would have been a spool pin down at the bottom too, but a decal covers that on this but one. But it does have screws in the back where it could attach to a treadle table. Yes. That would be fun. And you could take the handrail off and if you had the treadle table. I see no reason why it wouldn't. It's got a groove in the handrail just like this. Most of the parts look original. Now it's not... 100% it's not as heavy as the original one. I'm fine with that. But I like it. I like it. If I knew it was... Alright, so Singer Unboxing, 170th Anniversary Edition, red. To be continued. <laughs> yes. Thanks, guys.